Welcome everybody to our Tome RPG News Update for the month of April 2019. For this update, we'll be showcasing how our cutscene system works and giving a progress report on a couple other quick things. But first, we've got some winners to announce for our fan art contest. We got nearly a hundred amazing entries for the contest this month, and I want to thank each and every fan for the incredible effort they put into their artwork. It was a tough call, but thanks to our panel of judges, we've selected our three winners. The third place prize goes to Toxic Soul 77. Mike Prinky says, an action shot wrapped around a buddy shot, neatly encapsulating the joy of sharing an explosion with a friend. Brilliant composition, perspective, and expressions of Raccoon and Toxic Soul's character. And Jordan Lasco says, this one is just fun all over the place and I love it. The explosion, the insane facial expressions, the shape language, the wacky poses, you know these two are having a literal blast together. Great character design and color choices all around. As promised, Toxic Soul will receive a background NPC to be found in the game's overworld. The second place prize goes to Invader Scar. Mike Lucas says, dynamic poses and energy. I love that robot suit design. Jordan Lasker says, I appreciate this piece specifically because of its focus on the battle aspect of Tome, how interesting the action of the composition is, and the intense expressions and lighting on both characters. I also love a good mech design. And Mike Prinky says, this is just too rad. The kinetic action leaps off the page with the contrast between the two characters, their perspective, and their expressions. Adding to this, Invader Scar's character is unique in using a vehicle. Invader Scar will receive a background NPC with a speaking line for winning second place. And our grand prize winner is Keen Biscuit. Zach Frost says, Very lifelike atmosphere to this piece. I love the detailed background and the depth of field effect. Vision like this makes the world of Tome feel more interesting. Mike Prinky says, No, I don't make free logo designs, but Keen Biscuit does make awesome backgrounds. Great composition and use of depth of field that draws the eye to the specter looking for a fight with White Hat. Unassuming as they both look in the shadows of this brilliantly detailed alley. Rest assured that neither must underestimate the other. What an incredible mood, probably the best rendered background. Jordan Lasker said, I took one look at this image and instantly fell in love with not only the character design, but the atmosphere and environmental narrative being told between these two characters. There's so much detail to pick up on all over the place, and attention hanging in the air. I adore it. And Mike Lucas says, great use of the background to frame the characters. Lots of good detail on the posters made me laugh. Keen Biscuit will receive a fully animated enemy character to be fought against in the finished game. As we're entering the next month here, keep an eye out, as I'll be doing an animation stream to work on all the contest winners' characters. And, not to mention, I'll be doing another stream shortly after that'll showcase some cutscene animation for the Net King of Morganite Valley. More info on that during our next monthly update video. I've uploaded all the fan art contest entries to a gallery on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash tome series, and you can also see them by searching the hashtag TomeRPGFanArt on Twitter. All right, now, on to the actual update. Just a couple quick things to begin with. In addition to half the enemies being programmed by Nathan Lindley, they've also had a pass of their stats balanced out thanks to designer Scott Gowan. This covers everything from the first two chapters of the game's overall progression. Nathan's now working on the Chapter 3 enemies, and by the time this update releases, he's gotten all the backer enemies of that chapter programmed, so we're already moving along quite well. On a similar note, I've also just recently finished a pass at the cutscene choreography for Chapters 1 and 2 as well. This part of the process has gone exceedingly quick thanks to Mike Prinky's revision of how cutscene creation works. And in fact, we'd like to show all of you how it works a little more in depth. So, Mike has gone ahead and recorded a special behind-the-scenes process video on how the cutscenes are integrated into the game. As we're wrapping things up here, I'll have a link at the end of the video and in the description below where you can see it. Go check it out and you'll catch a quick glimpse of the story stuff from the opening level of the game and see exactly what we've been up to firsthand. I'll be back sooner than you think with our May monthly update and the reveal of another Net King. Thanks as always for tuning in, congrats again to our fan art contest winners, and look forward to more as the year presses on. Later!